Then, 1939 Alfa Romero 8C. The ultimate sports car of its generation, this 1939 beauty from Alfa Romero was one of only 12 ever made, which is probably why it sold for $19,800,000 in 2016. It was also the first of its kind to be offered at public auction this century, which probably helped boost its price too. The car was originally designed as a bespoke decadence for upper-class clientele, and it was packed with cutting-edge technology that offered the ultimate driving experience, its impressive inside and out. The lightweight exterior is considered to be one of the finest of its time, and under the hood, there's a 2,905cc engine, which is where the car gets its name from. This supercar is said to be the Italian equivalent of the number one car in this list. Any guesses of what it might be? Let me know in the comments to see if you can get it before the reveal. Number 9. Ferrari La Ferrari Cars don't always have to be vintage to be worth a stack of dollars, as Ferrari proved in 2016. The Italian supercar giant produced 500 of the coupe version of their La Ferrari, which literally means the Ferrari in Italian. Very inventive, guys. This hybrid sports car is the most valuable 21st century automobile ever sold at auction, raising $7 million at RM Sotheby's auction. The model sold was the 500th and final LaFerrari to be built, which is why its price tag was significantly higher than the other 499, which retailed at around $1.5 million each. Fancy getting your hands on your very own LaFerrari? Good luck! According to Ferrari, several high-profile buyers were turned down when they tried to secure their very own LaFerrari. Basically, if you're not already a very good Ferrari customer, like JK from Jamiroquai or Shark Tank's Robert Herjavec, you can forget it. Number 8. Ford GT40 Golf Most of the cars in this list come from Europe, but this beauty comes from the good old US of A. Ford's GT40 Golf claimed its place in history books when it became the most expensive American car ever sold, attracting a whopping $11 million. What contributes to the super huge price tag is its unique history. This 1968 mean machine was owned by none other than Hollywood's king of speed himself, Steve McQueen. It was featured in a series of films, including the 1971 classic Le Mans and Bullet. And who doesn't want to own a famous car? At one point, McQueen decided to kit out his GT40 for live-action race filming, cutting a hole in the car's roof to make room for the camera. That didn't put off the buyer, though. Apparently, owning a piece of race car history is more important than it being in good condition. Number 7. 1955 Jaguar D-Type Move over, USA! The Brits are proving to be almighty at producing classic sports cars. This Jaguar's 1955 D-Type, for instance, sold for an incredible $21,780,000 at RM Sotheby's. The D-Type was produced between 1954 and 1957, and towards the end of its production run, the 3.4-liter engine was bumped up to 3.8 liters, before being reduced to 3 liters to comply with Le Mans race rules. Confusing, right? And speaking of Le Mans, Ikuri Akasa raced this particular D-Type to victory in the 1956 24 Hours of Le Mans race, cementing its place in history. Before the 2016 sale, it only had two private owners after Ikasa. It was actually owned by a single private collector for 16 years before the sale, so it really might have been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own this example of race car royalty. If you prefer Aston Martins, maybe this 1956 DBR1 is more up your alley. It went for $22,550,000 in 2017, making it the most expensive British car to be ever sold at auction. Take that, Jaguar! Number 6. Ferrari 275 GTB The first of many vintage Ferraris in this list is the 275 GTB series. There were only 970 produced in total, so it's quite rare for one to come up for sale. The Super Series consisted of three 2-cam models and two 4-cam models, and both versions are highly sought after among the world's biggest Ferrari aficionados. One of the rarest models, the 1967 275 GTB 4S NART Spider, sold for $27,500,000 at a 2013 Pebble Beach auction. There were only 10 of this model ever built making it arguably the most desirable and most expensive variant of the series. There is a rarer 275 out there though, the GTB C Special. This one-of-a-kind prototype was built to compete at Le Mans, 
and it finished third in the 1965 race. When this ultra-rare car came up for auction in 2014, it went to a lucky bidder for $26,400,000. I wonder how much it'll be worth when it goes up for sale next. Any guesses? As we reach halfway in this list, let's test your pricing knowledge with a bit of trivia. How much do you think Captain Nemo's car from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen sold for at auction? I'll reveal all at the end of the video, so leave your estimate in the comments now to see if you can get it. Number 5. 1956 Ferrari 290 MM Sold in New York in 2015 for $28,050,000 as part of RM Sotheby's Driven by Disruption sale, this 1956 beauty is one of Ferrari's most expensive cars to sell at auction. This particular model was originally built for Juan Manuel Fangio, so it's got a history that's extremely interesting to motorsports enthusiasts. The 3.5-liter V12 engine car has a top speed of 170 miles per hour and was raced by Fangio in the 1,000-mile Mia Miglia in Italy. Amazingly, despite its illustrious racing career, it has never crashed. This particular 290mm was one of four to be made and it remained in collector Pierre Bardinon's renowned Mas du Clos collection in France for almost 24 years. It's unknown who bought the car in 2015, other than the fact that it was a private European collector. If it was you, let me know and maybe we can go for a spin. Number 4. 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196 Silver Arrow this legendary Formula One race car is every motorsport fan's dream because it was actually driven to wins by Argentinian Formula One racing legend Juan Manuel Fangio. Why is this Mercedes so expensive? Well, it ticks all the right boxes. It's ultra rare and only 14 of the W196Rs ever existed. Right now, there are only 10 left and only this one belongs to a private owner. It's also a technological gem and was the very first fuel-injected F1 car. It was sold by Bonhams at the Goodwood Revival in 2013 for $29,600,000, and the bidder won over the phone, so they remain a mystery. Another Mercedes made the news earlier this year for its history, not for its price. A 1939 770L Grosser Offener Torenwagen, used by Adolf Hitler, received a bid of $7 million at an auction because it didn't meet the seller's undisclosed minimum price. The Super Mercedes was seized by the U.S. Army in 1945, and had the car sold, 10% of the sale would have been donated to a Jewish human rights organization. Number 3. 1957 Ferrari 335S More from Ferrari now with a 335S. Sold in Paris in 2016 for $35,711,359, this two-seater sports racing car remains one of the rarest and most expensive cars on the market. It brings such a high price due to its impressive racing history. It won the 1958 Cuba Grand Prix and took part in the 1957 12 Hours of Sabring race and the Le Mans 24 Hours race. There were only four ever made, and its looks are as famous as its power. It can do around 190 miles per hour. The 335S was actually built in direct response to the Maserati 450S, whose 4.5-liter engine was threatening to blow the 3.8-liter engine of Ferrari's 315S out of the water. There's nothing better than a bit of healthy competition, right? Despite its astronomical price, the new owner probably won't get much use out of their 335S. It can't be used on the road, as it was designed purely for racing. Number 2. Ferrari 250 GTO which 250 GTO, you ask? Well, all of them, actually. An incredible 41 models on the series claim a place on the list of the 100 most expensive cars ever sold at auction. So the entire range deserves a mention. The Berlinetta model claimed the top spot on the list after being sold for $38,115,000 at auction in 2014. But a private sale almost doubled that price earlier this year. German race car driver Christian Glesel sold his 1963 model for at least $70 million. The GTO series go for so much money because they're so rare. Only 36 were made between 1962 and 1964, so it's extremely uncommon for one to be available to buy. Here's a bit of trivia for you. Although Ferrari doesn't top this list of most expensive race cars, it does dominate the most expensive cars list. How many spots do you think Ferrari claimed? 62 out of 100 cars. 
Incredible, huh? Number 1. Bugatti Type 57SC Atlantic Number 1 is this rarer than rare black beauty from Bugatti. There were only 4 of them ever made, and only 2 have survived to this day. A 1938 model is owned by fashion magnate Ralph Lauren, while the 1936 version was sold privately in 2010 for a rumored $40 million which is almost $46 million today. So what makes this car the most expensive race car ever? Well, other than its actual rareness, it's also a thing of beauty. So much so, in fact, that Ralph Lauren's version won the prestigious Concorso d'Eleganza Via Desto Award in 2013. The iconic rivets on the outside make it instantly recognizable, as does the classic shape of the lightweight aluminum body. Not content with just making a beautiful car? The Bugatti family also made sure that the 57SC series was frighteningly fast. It could do more than 120 miles per hour in 1936. I'm going to start saving up so I can make Ralph Lauren an offer. And finally, did you leave your guess for the auction price of Captain Nemo's car? I can reveal that it sold for $45,000. A bargain if you ask me. This was a custom-made vehicle for the movie The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, so it's as rare as they come. At 22 feet long with 6 wheels, it has lots of ornate metalwork, and prior to being sold, was kept at a prop store. Still, I can't help but think it looks